Okay guys, uh, I'm sure you know what to do, but just in case you don't know what to do. Uh, this is my bicycle. It's called Carrera Hellcat 29. The reason it's called 29 is because these wheels here are 29 inches. And this is my bike. So I had a fall this morning. And as you can see, the seat here has broken. And I was trying desperately trying to get the seat back in, but just can, couldn't get it back in. So I'm going to show you in this video how to replace a seat. So I had to go to the shop, wherever you want to go, Halfords, Decathlon, although I got my seat from Decathlon. Um, so to change the seat. So most importantly, so really with this seat, all I really need to do is just to change this bracket here, which will have the seat on top of that. So really the only effective screw is this screw here that I need to open up. So I could do it while the frame or the bar is still on the seat, but the best way to do it is to remove that, take that off and then, and then to do it then. So it's just easier to do it rather than fiddling with balancing the bike and everything as well. And the best way to do it is this screw here. You can open this screw and then lift the bar out as such so take the bar away. So I've got the bar in my hand now. So now it's quite easy for me to access that screw there that I need to remove. Okay, so I'm sorry, I've just put the bar back and just to show you. So you need one of these tools, okay? It's like uh, almost called uh, Allen key. You can call it an Allen key. You can get it from any bike shop. Obviously that's got Halfords written on there, but it's always good to have this tool with you all the time, wherever you go because if the seat falls or you need to untie or do anything. So this key here will fit most of the things on your bike, okay? So the best is to find Allen key that fits, the Allen key that fits you. So I'm trying to hold the camera at the same time. Allen key that you need. So you put the Allen key in as such. So you can see the Allen key is in there. And then basically you can hold it at that angle. They're strong enough to do that. And you could untie and tighten there. Okay, so untie this time, just untighten, put the key away, and that's what you need. Okay, very good, very, very useful little tool, loads of tool in one screwdriver, Phillips, star, and Allen keys. Okay, so then you can remove the bar as such. Okay, remove the bar, remove everything from the bar. So I'm going to remove that light from the bar as well, so it's easier to access. And it's simple as that, okay? So now I'm gonna show you the seat that I've bought and we'll fit the seat onto the bike. So here is my brand new seat. I've moved away from the bike. So this is a seat I bought about 30 pounds really. Uh, so it's really good. I was gonna change the seat on it anyway, but that's all it is. And it also comes with the bracket. Feels absolutely beautiful. And I know I'm sitting here doing it over the coffee table. The reason I'm doing that is because I'm not a workshop person. I'm just an everyday person, just like you which means that if I can do it, you can do it. Just have a go, okay? Most important thing, once again, is the tool, okay? So you do need this tool. Um, so I think we're gonna use the biggest Allen key here. But first, I'm gonna free the seat from the wrapper. So as you can see, it's uh, it's got, it's well taped up, okay? So this is a seat I've decided. You can have a seat of your choice. Uh, this is a gel seat, so it's got gel on it. Uh, especially for men, it's quite good to have a bit of room there. <laughs> That's right, guys. It hurts in those places. Uh, while I've been riding bike, to be honest, it's not my legs that hurt the most. Uh, it's my bum, my backside that hurts the most. Uh, and I'm going to just remove this light that was there. So, and just free this tool. So now I'm going to do is to free the saddle from the packaging. And then from the packaging, I want to open the bar this screw here get rid of this bracket here and ideally there's the bracket on there it should fit straight onto there okay so let's just free the seat up first okay so there's a seat free from the packaging okay so basically the bracket is more or less same as that bracket over there so what happened to my seat was i fell off the bike and this bit here came out and no matter what i tried to do i just couldn't get it back the bracket in back into the saddle or the seat it just almost seemed that it was molded around the seat so maybe there's somebody else there who knows what to do 
better than me, obviously. But like I said, I'm just an everyday guy and I'm just trying to show you that if I can do it, you can do it yourself as well. Okay, so now next, what I'm gonna do, there's the seat. So I'm gonna free up here to get rid of, open this bracket so I can fit that seat onto this bracket. Okay, so let's do that first. So you can see the water bottle there, can't you? So I've balanced the phone on a water bottle so I can just show you that. Okay, so there's the bracket. This goes in here and basically just unscrew this, unscrew this, unscrew this. And at some point, this will come out of the bracket. Okay, so once you've done that, you can just gently, the screws, it goes from here. So the screw will have to come out because this bracket here will need to loosen up, okay? So that bracket at the top will need to loosen. Okay, so there's a screw. The bracket's getting looser, looser. I could possibly just pull it out like this way as well. So I can take it out of there, but why not? Just take the bracket out because I want to need that bracket out any off anyway. So as you can see, just make sure all the washers, everything stays in place, most importantly. So really, so there's the bracket, okay? So that bracket goes there and that has actually freed that bracket there, okay? So that's all it is to it, okay? All this piece of cloth hanging around there. So I wanna use the same bar, because remember, this is a bar that fits my bike. So now I just grab my seat, which is here. That's the bracket over there. And then this bottom bit, basically, just as that bracket was sitting there, will just sit on top of it like that. Okay, so I'll pick up the phone, I'll just show you. So that will there and then just sit on it like that. Okay, so if we can just show you a little bit clearer. So there's the pole there. I've got my hand there and the seat is sitting there. So there's the seat, it goes like that. Well, I mean, you can sort it out which angle you want it at, obviously. And that's not the angle you want it at. And then the bracket will just sit on top of that, okay? So once you get the bracket here on top there, where my finger's pointing to, and then you just hold it in place and everything should fit in place. And then gently with your finger, this screw here, just tighten this screw gently with your finger while holding the pole there. Okay, let's see, so once you've got that seat on there, just gently tighten this up. So make sure the bracket is there before you actually tighten it properly because the seat can still adjust. So it's better probably to adjust the seat when you're on the bike. So sit on the seat when you're on the bike and then adjust the angle of the seat. So you can go down like that, you can go up. So depending on how you want to sit on the seat. So adjust the angle of the seat later on. But really, that's all, that's all you do. And then you just tighten this up. So, and then before you put it on the bike, then tighten it up properly after that. But there you have it, the whole, the seat has been replaced. It's easy as that. And like I said, if I can do it, you can do it. Okay, don't pay anybody doing it. You can do it yourself. Okay, just obviously make sure you check it, tighten it properly, that your safety is paramount. So make sure you check it, tighten it, and everything's tight and check before you go out for a ride. So that's vital, that's that's important, okay? Very, very important that you're safe on your bike, okay? So I'm just gonna tighten that screw a little bit more. So here's the screw, just tighten it a little bit more. So it just sits nice and comfy. And because in the bracket where these brackets are, there is like a groove. So once the the frame is in that groove, I'll sit in that groove then, okay? So that's nice and tight now. That's kind of tight, so the seat won't actually move. But I've still got room to manoeuvre the seat. That's not a problem, but the seat is sort of done, okay? So now we can go and put the bar in the bike and fit it back in and then settle it, set the seat to suit me or my needs for my backside. So there's my bike. The seat is on my bike. So basically get the bar place it into the bike. And like I said, I'm not in a workshop or anything. This, I'm just home just to show you that I'm just a regular guy, regular person. And I'm just trying to fix my own seat so that for you guys at home as well, just, just for you to know that, you know what? If this guy can do it, we can do it and you can do it. But like I said, just make sure that once everything is done, everything's nice and tight. And now that the seat is on the bike, so now's the time to just gently Gently tighten it, but then 
make sure that you sit on the bike and get your seat right. And now at this point, obviously, because I haven't got room here to do it. So at this point, it would be worth me taking the bike outside, sitting on the bike, deciding which, where, what position I want the seat in. And to be honest, you might need to ride it just to get the get the positioning right, but get the toolkit and just tighten it up a little bit at least. So when you do go, okay. So that's, and always, always line up your seat against the frame. So you know that your, your seat isn't pointing one way and the bike is pointing in a different way. So line up the seat always. That looks in line. I might just give it a little knock, just get it a bit straight. So that looks a bit straight and that's it. Tighten that once you're out. Sit on the bike, get your legs straight. And when you're riding, your legs should be straight. Uh, and when you're sitting on the seat, your toes should be just touching the floor. Uh, but again, there's loads of other videos and stuff out there. But that's simple as that, changing a bike seat. If I can do it, you can do it. So please, please, please subscribe to the channel. Hit that like button and share. You know, share it for somebody else. They might be in a dilemma, but you can do it. You can do it. You can really do it if you really want to. Thank you for watching. And like I said, please subscribe to the channel um, and I'll try and upload some other videos of everyday things. I'm not a handyman. I'm terrible at handiwork. But like I said, I have a go and you should have a go too. Okay, but get the tools. The tools are vital for any job. You've got to have the tools.